Hey everyone, Bart here and welcome to a new episode of Dark Tourism here in Korea. I am now in Jeju Island. I'm sitting in front of a hangar and this was forcibly made by the Jeju Islanders for the Japanese, the Japanese occupiers of the time. It's really interesting because the Japanese were very present on Jeju Island, like more compared to other regions, especially during the war. So me as a dark tourist, I'm here to find out why that is so and what happened during that time and what the Japanese exactly have done on this island. Pretty much wherever you go on the island, there are traces of the, the Japanese occupiers. As a dark tourist, vacations are a way to escape my dull and normal life. My name is Bart van Genuchte, a YouTuber from the Netherlands. And I've always been drawn to the strangest side of life. I will follow my curiosity into the world of dark tourism. This is Altere Airfield, built by Imperial Japan during the 20s. During the Second World War, among other things, this base was used to train kamikaze pilots. I thought it's a good starting point and we got welcomed by a nice Korean cartoon, explaining the first concrete that we found. It looks different. This is not hunger, this is basement bunker. You can see the tourism is really low because there are always spider webs in front of the entrance. Yeah. It's a really big one, huh? Oh. Yeah, you go first. Look above you. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, you're in the spider web. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me and a spider. Uh, oh, more me and a spider. <laughs> I'm glad I don't see a spider in the web. It freaks me out. I'm so scared of spiders. And this is just a bunker. Look how, look how big it is. Mm. Okay. Oh, wow. Is... Okay, so. Very spacious. Oh, the entrance they make very low. Ooh. It just looks like any other mountain in Jeju Island. I would never guess. Oh, there's a bunker underneath. Because of all the plants. <laughs> looks like a bunch of plants and grass. If you walk from one concrete to another, you realize the size of this airfield. Massive. It's all valuable farming ground, but because of the airfield, farmers couldn't use it for a very long time. No wonder why the meaning of Altere is white garden below. It's a little bit high, so be careful. Wow! That's so cool! Oh, you can see the hangars from here! We met a a man who's doing the other track and he thinks that it was a anti-aircraft machine gun here. Uh, makes sense because there's a circle on the surface there when the airplanes are coming and they're trying to to fight the hangars there, the aircraft, or shoot something or hit something. The Japanese guy here sitting and it's waiting and it's such a fearful height you don't want to know. So <laughs> mystery solved. It's not a, a tower with a machine gun, it was a control tower, which makes perfect sense because we're standing right next to the airfield, the airstrip. This is a starting point all the way to there. And the facilities were already here because the island is, has been strategically important for some time. But when they felt that the war was coming closer, they suddenly sent a lot of military, 70,000 soldiers. Even the Japanese, they knew that this is, like if they ever come here, this is the last defense line. Yeah, for their mainland. For their mainland, yeah, because Jeju is really useful to protect the mainland of Japan. The Japanese could easily reach China during the second Sino-Japanese war. They air raided places like Nanjing and Shanghai. As a bonus, they could even defend their own mainland. Needless to say, that Jeju was very important and the locals must have felt that because they were forced to construct Altere airfield in preparation for war. But the war never made it to Jeju Island and later I will explain why. Even though the death and destruction was not particularly in this place, it was definitely caused by this place somewhere else. They made 20 hangars. They all remain except for one, I think it's uh, somewhere in pieces. But 19 hangars in their original state are still left here. 19 hangars is a lot, a lot. Yeah, too hard. We're now walking to an autumn. 
autumn is uh, made by a volcano eruption and the Japanese they use this autumn to build an anti-aircraft establishment to protect the airport the airfield and all the airplanes and <sighs> it's so humid so warm tropical and my bald head is burning I become a shooting target myself a red walking tomato so this is it wow we made it we made it we made it so in the middle of this that's like a big anti-aircraft gun if any plane comes from the coast tak, 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 tak. they were uh, making sure that they couldn't see the airport or they couldn't even make it to the airport you can move yeah almost <laughs> but they never really used it it was not necessary to defend the island Jeju was pretty much untouched so we're going to Songaksan and that is near the coast where the Japanese they uh, they dug out a lot of caves where they could hide their torpedoes other things in case that uh, somebody would attack the coast underneath the same mountain they built a lot of tunnels I think 1.2 kilometers in length all connected and uh, very big so they could hide a lot of hardware military hardware uh, communication material soldiers even trucks we're gonna check that out now Ooh. hey what's your name Maria <laughs> so now you might think who is this guy well it's still me <laughs> but after walking over the hills there I got so burned that I had to buy some protection for my arms <laughs> my head and my neck I feel like Korean outdoor Josie Do not enter. Yeah, I mean, it's not really stopping anyone, right? Apparently it's not allowed to uh, go to the caves over there. That's a pity, but luckily yesterday we uh, could go into a cave. Because, because of the Jeju's special soil, it's not possible to use the dynamite. So I heard that they only use the... Like pickaxe? Yeah, pickaxe. Shovel. So we are going to go through these three, and the others are quite difficult to get an access. So let's go down and have a look. If I slip down, then I bring all of you with me. <laughs> so the way to uh, to the caves, the Japanese caves, is not as easy as it looks. Not at all. Look at this. <laughs> Use your uh, cell phone flashlight. Well, if something goes wrong, I got everything on camera. Yeah, so if you want to say something to your family. <laughs> <laughs> For what did they use the tunnels? They you wanted to use it as an office. This one? Yeah. Oh, you were on top Oh, shit. Wow. So, uh, this place has been never used during the Second World War. That is why, after, but then after the Second World War, this place is here, so they wanted to use it for somehow, right? The local farmers use this place as a refrigerator. Yeah, so they just keep their potatoes, sweet potatoes. They're smart, but not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> because they, they have, have beer. Here. They have real fridge, right? <laughs> in summertime it's cold, in wintertime it's warm. That's weird. It's really incredible to see all the concrete, the tunnels and caves that the Japanese have built all over the island. But for what? No shot was fired. Extremely sad for the forced labor and the locals. But they were also lucky in a way. Things could have gone completely wrong. And they even sent 17,000 soldiers to the island on a population of, was it, a couple of hundreds of thousands? Imagine that you're living here and suddenly half of the population is just added to your island. You have to share your space, the food, sanitation, everything. So the caves are behind me and we crossed the do not enter sign a little bit, but not too far, just a little bit. Here you can see how many caves they made and they are like all over the island anywhere you have a cliff like this i think the japanese they uh, make caves to hide their torpedo boats it's clearly handmade wow definitely many people came here it's not too deep but you can definitely like hide something in here that's something beautiful with all the green moss and uh, sea cockroaches 
Everywhere. <laughs> Behind me there are two islands and the furthest island is also the most southern point in South Korea. Yeah, that means that the Japanese here at this point, they were waiting for the allied forces from that side. But they never came. I think, I really think so, that uh, they were very lucky with that. It's very sad that because of all the forced labor, the South Koreans had an extremely hard time. But it could have been a million times worse if the Allied forces also attacked Jeju Island. There was something that, that stopped that from happening because it was the plan. And the reason is that south of the coast of Japan there's another island, it's called Okinawa. And the Japanese also had a military defense on that island. And the Allied forces in their Pacific War, they had to fight the Japanese on that island to move on to the mainland or to Korea. So the Battle of Okinawa was like 80 more days, but it was a terrible battle. It's, uh, it's not a very small island so quite a lot of people live in the island and I don't know the exact numbers but more than 20,000 American soldiers died and more than I believe 60,000 Japanese Imperial Force soldiers died. But here's the, the worst part of it because also I believe a number of 150,000 citizens of Okinawa died during that battle either because of the, the war the bombings, the shooting, or uh, because of suicide. And now I don't really know the exact reasons why they committed suicide. Was it because they didn't want to become a prisoner of the Americans? Was it because they were about to lose the war and they couldn't live with that uh, shame? Was it because they felt that they failed the empire? I don't know. But what I do know is that battle was so horrible that more than 200,000 people died. It could have been Jeju Island. The Americans, they were so shocked about the number of people that died during that battle. They were very careful in striking another island, which would have been Jeju Island. These days in Okinawa, the US military is still there because it's such a strategic point in terms of uh, the sea and who controls it, the relationship with China and so on and so on. And there's even a memorial, a statue commemorating the Koreans who were forced to work on the defenses on Okinawa. But I'm glad that that is there. So we are now in one of the last Japanese residential buildings here in Jeju Sea. It's a very old house, over 100 years old, and it has experienced the darkest periods on Jeju Island. And one of those periods is April 3rd. And we're gonna show you that in the next dark tourist video. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know if you have any dark tourist place in mind that you want us to visit. I'm looking forward to explore many more places, many more dark tourist places. Subscribe, like, share this video to all the dark tourist freaks in the world. <laughs> like me. And then we see you next time. Thank you for watching. How do? It's not very romantic. <laughs> Stories are not pretty, it's sad, you need to have a very a tough heart. For all those uh, romantics who don't want to go to a place like this to be romantic, just uh, buy some popcorn, put it in a microwave, turn on bring your board. boyfriend or your girlfriend, <laughs> turn on Ico Bart and uh, just see it as a nice uh, date. 